uh, it's Coyote Lovely. I know we don't usually do this where I'm on uh, the front side of the camera, uh, but I have um, kind of something I wanted to try out. Uh, I'm sorry for the glare off my glasses. I can totally see it in the video recording thing. Um, but uh, I can't read the questions I have on the screen if I'm not wearing my glasses. So anyway, um, so I have some kind of exciting news and uh, there's kind of a fun thing coming up for me and I don't want to spoil it. Um, but it's, it's just a little thing, uh, but it kind of caused me to want to start doing how to sew videos again. So, um, I went on Facebook and I asked my friends, uh, to please tell me, um, questions they had for, uh, possible how to sew videos for the future. And, um, a good sizable chunk of the questions I got were really, really helpful and really great. And then I have really funny friends. <laughs> and, uh, and some of them were, were funny. Um, so anyway, so I thought it would be really like as a teaser for the how to sew, uh, upcoming videos that I hopefully want to get back into, uh, instead of doing something serious, I wanted to do how to sew, uh, the tremendously unhelpful edition. Um, so big shout out to everybody who gave me some of these questions and the laughs that I had reading through them. Um, I'm sure that more will come in after I'm done with this video. I might have to do an unhelpful volume too. Um, but uh, with no further ado, I'd like to go ahead and answer these questions. And uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. If they're silly unhelpful, I will totally get to them at some other time. And I'm sorry if there's other beeping happening. Um, so uh, first question, this one comes from Martin. Martin says, how do you put the string in the whole thing without wanting to punch somebody in the face? Um, so the short answer to that is uh, you don't. Uh, no matter how much practice you have, there will always be a day that the thread will just absolutely hate you. Uh, so, yeah, short answer. It never goes away. Um, <laughs> Rachel says, oh God, literally anything. I'm a, me I'm a hot mess. Please help. Um, hopefully the rest of these videos will help. I don't know. This one's not going to be any use for you, though. Um, let's see. Those are real. Those are real. Uh, how do I sew and not make myself bleed? Um, so uh, I, I jokingly said this is actually, oh, this is from, uh, Kirstie. Uh, and, uh, the answer to this comes from something that my best friend, Melissa, and I always say, if it's not made with blood, it's not made with love. So don't try not to make yourself bleed. Just go ahead and bleed all over the place. Let's see. Next question. Uh, real one, real one. Um, so I have, it's a funny worded question, um, and such a short answer that I figured I'd go ahead and, um, and, and do this one here. Um, Celeste says, how do you not cut the fabric like ass? Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a common problem. And the answer is really good scissors, really good scissors. Um, I used to use, um, basically kind of the bar bottom of the line scissors, the ones that you can get you know, for like not too much money at Joann's or wherever your fabric uh, shopping place of choice is. Um, but uh, I have upgraded to really nice ones. These are really nice ones. Um, I got these for Christmas a couple of years back. Um, uh, I told my mom I was kind of tired of using crappy scissors and, and so for Christmas one year she bought me really nice ones. Um, yeah, so get good scissors, really, really sharp. Make sure they're really sharp, maintain them, take them back to be sharpened. You will not, you will not regret it. Um, and never, ever, ever let anybody use these to cut anything but fabric. If anybody uses your fabric scissors to cut anything else, it is perfectly acceptable to stab them with them. Moving on. Uh, how do you sew a straight freaking line? Practice, practice, practice. This is also from Celeste. And um, last from her, how, how do you use, how do I, how do you use my brain to think instead of just doing things and hoping for the best? Um, I come from the school of, um, just doing things and hoping for the best. So if I ever figure out another method toward doing anything, I'll let you know. Um, this one's from Mikey. Uh, how do you not stare hopelessly at a pile of fabric and picture what you want it to magically turn into? Um, the short answer to this is don't buy fabric unless you have a project earmarked for it. Uh, however, um, I tend to visit the fabric district a lot. So I have a lot of fabric that just kind of sits there and I magically hope it turns into something pretty. So, um, Project, then fabric, instead of fabric, then project. But nobody works like that. Um, <laughs> there were a lot of people agreeing with that question. Uh, let's see. Um, how to start. I actually think 
how to start is kind of a great question for a real answer someday. Uh, do, 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 also sleeves. All right, and now we get to John. And John asked a lot of questions. So we're going to get to systematically go down through this. Uh, what is sewing? Uh, the most expensive hobby you will ever pick up. That is what sewing is. Um, do you need fabric? Technically, no. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen any of the Project Runway episodes where they work with, you know, other things. But, um, you know, usually it's a fabric-like substance, like a, you know, uh, shower curtain or something similar like that. But technically, you don't need to have fabric to sew. Uh, how important is thread? Now, unlike the fabric issue, I will say that I think thread might be the most important part of the sewing process. I don't think you can call it sewing unless you're using thread. Just saying. Um, <laughs> and then Sarah pipes in here with, what is the thing? Probably a sewing machine, I hope. Uh, let's see. And how do you do the thing with the stuff? You know, I'm still working on that, but if I get a solid answer to that, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, <laughs> I saw it in this movie once. Can you make it the movie with that guy? Uh, to which Sarah replies, I can't decide if that's funny or painfully accurate. And I said both. Um, so funny story. I actually used to work for a bookstore a long, long time ago. Probably dinosaurs were walking the earth. And, um, and uh, people used to come in all the time and say, you know, there's this book with a red cover. Can you find it for me? Um, <laughs> uh, I feel like this is like that sometimes. Like, so I really have this plan and it's from this movie. And do you know what I'm talking about? Probably don't. Find me a picture. Uh, let's see. That's a real question. That's a real question. Um, and I think we'll end on this one. Um, so the last, last question I'm going to do today comes from Nathan. Uh, Nathan says, how do you sew with very little time? Um, <laughs> you know, honestly, sewing eats pretty much all of the time that I'm not spending on other weird, crazy little things. Um, I, I don't think there is a way to sew if you're running very short on time. Uh, an average project will take me probably about um, anywhere from 10 to 20 hours, depending on um, how groovy I am on the project. Sometimes I'm, I'm really busting it out and I'm working quickly, and sometimes it's like I'll do one thing and I'll put it down, I'll do another thing and I'll put it down, I'll do another thing and I'll put it down, so... Um, I know he particularly has a brand new baby, um, not like, like super brand new, but like still very young. And, um, I imagine that brand new babies are a little bit like cats in the fact that they are helpers when it comes to sewing. So I'm sure that also is part of the problem. But, um, I would say honestly, if you're short on time and you really still want to sew, um, leave yourself a lot of months instead of a lot of hours uh, in your day. And just try to get one thing done a night, even if it's only cutting one pattern piece or sewing one seam. So, an actual helpful question to the end of this very unhelpful questions inquiry. Um, so with all of that said, if you have any questions, real or unhelpful, um, make sure you put them down in the comments for me. And um, I do want to get back into the Minecraft videos, those are hopefully coming soon, and there will be more how to sew videos because of the super exciting thing. Um, so hopefully when a uh, when the super exciting thing happens, then I will put up a how to sew video at that time also. Um, but until then, uh, this has just been a little bit of a teaser fun video for the silly questions that I said I wanted to do. Um, I really just kind of chucked on my, my laptop and, and you know decided that this would just be kind of a fun video to record. Um, I hope you all are having a fantastic year. Uh, and until next time, everybody, I came this way. keep having fun.